Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we will discuss about Terraform variables. We will learn how do you declare the Terraform variables and how to use those variables in our Terraform configuration. Let's go to the Visual Studio code and we'll continue our demonstration there. So here in my Visual Studio code, I'll be using the same GitHub repository which we were using it earlier. The link to the GitHub repository is available in the description where you will find entire code in case if you would like to refer to. For this demonstration, I'll be using this particular directory. Inside the directory, I have the Terraform configuration file. As you can see, I have a main.tf file and then I have a variable.tf file. Though you can declare the variables in any of the Terraform configuration file which has the .tf extension but it is always recommended that you should always declare your variables in the variables.tf file to manage your variables centrally in a single place rather than putting it declaring the variable here and there. So this is just for the management perspective it is recommended that you should. Let's look at how the variable declaration syntax looks like in Terraform. I'll open the variable.tf file where I have defined the syntax to declare any of the variable. So you need to have a variable keyword as you can see here followed by the instance or the name of your variable in double quotes and after that you need to have opening curly braces which defines the boundary or the body of your variable and then you have these attributes which you can attach to your variable. The very first attribute which we have is the type attribute where you define the data type of your attribute such as string, number, object or any other data type which are available in the Terraform. We'll learn about the data types in our upcoming video but let's say that I would like to declare a variable which could have a type as in a string so I can define the type as the string. Next you'll define the de description of your variable what the variable is supposed to do and what would be the purpose of that particular variable which you may want to use in your Terraform configuration. So it's always going to be a descriptive text description for which defines your variable. Next you have the default value property in case if your variable in case your in case if you would like to specify or set some default values to your variable you can use this default attribute with your variable property with your variable configuration after that you have the sensitive attribute in the variable in case if you would like to define your variable as sensitive so that the value of the variable should not display in the terraform console or in, in your console window throughout any of the Terraform command line, then you can declare that variable as true or sensitive attribute as you can declare the variables sensitive attribute as true. The default value of the sensitive variable remains false. At the last, you have the validation block associated with your variable. In case if you would like to have a variable with any condition or any validation just to let you know that these are the five attributes which are available to declare to or to specify any of the variable but all of these are optional so even though if you would like you can declare a variable without having the need of any of these attributes such as like this so let's say where without attribute I can give it a name to my variable like this this is a variable declaration without having any attribute and this is going to be acceptable as well so Terraform will work with this variable Terraform will not complain about any of these attributes to be provided if you want you can set a partial configuration partial attributes as well for example I can just set a string property where string type I'm just giving any name you can declare a variable like this as well or if you want you can just declare the variable as a 
where I'm just setting a uh, or if you want you can just declare descriptive so terraform will work with any of these configuration without having any problem now to use i'll just remove the template to use any of the variable in your terraform configuration you have to specify like this let's say var keyword and after that you have to use the dot and then the name of your variable so let's say if i have a variable name resource group for example then i can use the variable name resource group as in this let me use another variable name so here you can see that we have two variable declares one has a default value one does not have any default value now if i run the terraform plan command here with this variable let me just try and run that i'll open the terminal on this particular folder and run terraform terraform plan as you can see that when i run the terraform plan terraform evaluates the number of variables which we have declared in that terraform directory and it checks whether each of the variable has a default value provided or not if there are no values available to that terraform configuration then very first thing it will do it will ask as an input to that variable uh, for that variable which you can pass so in this case i can see that the resource group name is rg dev in that case let's say it's going to print rg dev like this okay let's look at some of the example of the variable which has a validation conditions so here i have a location variable and as per the organization policy i know that my organization only allows to create the azure resources into the specified locations such as east us west us uk south and uk north so what i can do is in the terraform variable configuration where i'm using a location variable i can specify a validation condition and with the validation block i am using a condition with a contains operator it is a terraform built-in function which accepts the list as in for first argument which is a list of string in this case i can use a list of map as well anything which has a list and then in that list i can search for an element which in this case i'll be searching of course with the same element which is a variable location variable value itself if the value provided is not matching of course the condition is going to be false and in that case i should i want to display this variable this error message to the caller next i have a validation message for the storage account name variable wherein i know that azure only allows the storage account to be created with a range of character between 3 to 24 so the way i am validating the input variable as with the condition using the length operator and i'm using a uh, end operator so length operator a uh, very first time i'm checking whether the storage account has a length greater than or equals to 3 which means the storage account should have at least three character as in name then with end parameter with and attribute i am using uh, another length operator on the same storage account name variable wherein i am checking it should not exceed the length length should not exceed greater than 24 characters or 24 characters in length this combines together creates or allow my storage account to provide only the range between 3 to 24 if i pass any other range then it will throw an error let's test that so I'll test first of all a negative scenario wherein I'll pass the location value as anything else which is not given in my specified list. So if I run the Terraform plan quickly, it will ask to provide the name of the location as we do not have the default value for this demonstration. So I'll be using none as the location value which I know that it is not available in this list. Next the storage account name i'll provide just two character which is qw just for the demonstration 
as you can see that for well, very first error we got is invalid location which is the error message which we have given in our validation block the next error we got is the story account must have between 3 to 24 characters in length which, which is the same exact error what we can get it here right now this is very very useful so that you can avoid having the errors at the runtime so better to validate your program right here when somebody calls the program itself so rather than going to the cloud environment directly you are basically validating your inputs right here at the terraform level so instead you're not going to the uh, cloud apis and validated by your cloud environment you are just just basically checking at the terraform level so this is really important to have a validations in place so the use of validation is really important concept with terraform with this your code is not navigating to the cloud apis or the cloud environment apis it's all these validations are being performed at the terraform level or at the terraform provider level itself and that way you are saving the efficiency of your cloud configurations so it is really helpful and to use the validation as and when it is requires other takeaway we have with this demonstration is that though terraform allows you to create the variable name without specifying any attributes but it is always best practice to specify at least the type of variable which will give your developers to a, some idea that what this variable is supposed to do what type of value this variable should allow and you should have validation as well uh, because the data type validation it will have next you sh should always have as a best practice you should always define the description of the variable and then if requires if mandatory then you can have a default value of your variable as well so these are the three properties you should always use while defining the variables i hope it makes sense and you found some useful information out of this demonstration if it is please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks for you thanks for watching it see you in the next video